Okay, so I wanted to make another one of like, I'm straightening my hair, so I'm gonna film a YouTube video while I do that. And then I remembered I don't have a mic on my camera now, I have to use this one, so I don't really have two hands. So this is why my hair looks half straightened, because I was just doing that, then I thought of like recording this video and then it was like yeah I need to hold my microphone but I really wanted to film this video because a few of you have asked me to explain how I went through or over overcame my binge eating disorder because I had that for I don't even know when it started maybe when I was like 13 or even before that and I feel like until I was 26 which is when the pandemic hit that's when I started to slowly overcome it and it's Actually, I feel like it's actually very simple, but I feel like we all go through like a certain process until we figure this out. So what happened to me is like I had a shitty situation at home, which means every time that I felt lonely, I felt like I couldn't tell anyone my problems. I had any kind of emotions kind of like bottled in. I just went to eat. It was like my comfort phone phone. I was going to say my comfort zone and something else. And I feel like I just mixed that word. Um, it was kind of like my comfort thing to do to kind of like make myself feel better to soothe myself, etc, etc. So since that was my way of avoiding my emotions, that is what I continued to do. And then there were moments over time where I realized that certain moments of my life, I did not eat, like I didn't binge as much. And then there were other times where I binged more. And I was like, okay, let's analyze like what's going on in my life that make me eat more or less. And I realized that over time, like after some self-development, some growth, I'm 29 now, by the way. And I feel like I realized that the more I got better at maybe communicating things or counting on people and not trying to like deal with everything by myself and I allowed other people to be there to soothe me or I used other things to soothe me like sport or meditation or other things I feel like that it just it just leveled it out a bit more so it actually did get better over time I just didn't know because I wasn't really like fully aware of what I was doing I just like grew as a person if you want to say that but when the pandemic hit and we were all like quarantining in our homes that's when it got really bad. And I remember that back then I had been in this like really weird slump that for the past two years I had gotten really fat. I had, I mean, not really, really fat, but for me who has always been like more or less skinny or good looking without having to do that much, I just gained like 16 kilos, which I think is 30 pounds. I'm not sure, but yeah, 16 kilos. That's what I had more on me. If I have a picture, I will post it here. I probably don't. So, um, yeah. And no, but the thing is that during the quarantine, I was like, okay, you've been trying to lose all this weight for like years now. And for some reason, you just cannot seem to like stop eating. And like, you're trying, like I was trying to do diets. I was working out like seven days a week before the pandemic hit. I was trying everything. Um, not for the binge eating part, more for like the weight loss part, which I feel like is another reason that causes us stress. But I feel like when I was working out that much, when I was like like starving myself basically, and telling myself, like, yeah, I'm just going to eat like this many calories, I'm just going to count calories and do this and do that, um, I would behave super well during the day. And then the night would come, and if I had a bad day, if I had something minimal come up, I would be like, Oh, I deserve a pizza today because like I worked out, I did a CrossFit lesson, then I did this, I went surfing, I went this, yada yada. I ate like 800 calories today, which means like I can have a pizza, you know. But even though, like, even though in the days that I didn't do that and I actually be well behaved, you know, like it's it's a it's not a healthy way of behaving. It's like a toxic way of behaving. But even on the days that I behaved, I realized like I was not losing weight, and I feel like that just added to my stress and to my binging because the more I realized like oh my god I'm not losing weight I look fat I look disgusting I I just was like it made me binge more because I was so stressed and I was so like fuck this I don't care I don't really want to you know lose weight because like I just have to assume that this is what my body looks like it's because I got, I've gotten older and there's no way that I'm gonna recover my slim physique and I just give up it, there was a point where I well there were many points where I told myself I was giving up and then the next week I started a new diet and I tried a lot of different things. But the thing that frustrated me the most was that that there was like before I might I might have like given into my binge eating more and I've gotten fat, which makes sense. But then after that, I was like, well, I'm, I'm eating healthy now. I'm working out every day. I'm doing all these things and I'm still fat and I still keep on like gaining, not even gaining weight, but also being bloated. And no, I don't have... 
hypothyroidism and all of those things because I did check that. I was like, well, maybe I have a, uh, a condition, maybe I have some kind of disease that I don't know about that's making me fat because this doesn't make sense. Um, but like time went on and like nothing was really helping me. Nothing was really like, yeah, I was just like, I continued to binge at some point. I was just like, what's the point? Like I try dieting. I make myself go through like depriving myself from all these things and it's just like not working like nothing is working and when you try everything and you see that nothing's working you just give up and that was kind of the solution in a way because what happened is that when I gave up I told myself you know what I'm just gonna try the opposite now I'm just gonna try to like allow myself to binge as much as I want but just kind of like make myself aware while I'm doing that if that makes sense um and when like we were in quarantine and everything and there was this one night where I was like oh I really want an ice cream when I had like a full-on pizza and some things like I was full like my body was full but I was just like I want some ice cream now because like I feel like there's probably some emotion here that I just don't really, really want to deal with and I just want to like go to the like, to the fridge and get an ice cream or something so what I did is that in those moments I tried to acknowledge myself I tried to in I mean I allowed myself to still binge after that but something changed there for me and it's that since I was looking into the whole like well it's, it's probably like repressed emotions maybe there's like some emotions you're not dealing with and that's the reason why you're binging and maybe solving those emotions will solve the binging and all of that I what I did was I every time the binging sensation came up I was just like okay Ada what do you think is going on what are you feeling just like have a glass of water and just like talk to me like as if I was having like this conversation with myself and I just had this, sometimes I, w I didn't feel anything, sometimes I was just like, I don't feel anything, I just want some ice cream, like a child basically, that doesn't want to communicate with you. And sometimes it was like, well, I feel lonely, if I start to think about it, I feel lonely because I haven't seen my friends in a long time, or I haven't been with someone intimate, intimately for a long time, or this or that, or I don't feel listened to, or I don't feel like anyone's there for me, or I don't know, whatever. And then I told myself, like, thank you for telling me, and then I would still allow myself to go get the ice cream. And what I noticed is that the, the more I started doing that, I still went to the I to the uh, to the ice cream to the fridge to get the ice cream, and I would eat maybe like a few spoons, and then it would be full. It wouldn't be like I would heave the whole like pint. I would just eat a few spoons, and I was like, oh, I'm I'm good, you know, because I feel like I kind of like half binged and half expressed my emotions, which made me already see like okay. Like, there was something that needed to get out, but you still need to kind of, like, allow yourself to binge a little bit to not deprive yourself. Because I feel like it's with, like, as with any diet, like, when you deprive yourself of, like, oh, you cannot eat any cheese or, like, you cannot eat any meat or you cannot eat whatever. And it goes against of what you actually want to be doing. At some point, there's this part of you that's just going to rebel against you and you're just going to go on this binge spree of, like, I'm going to eat everything because you've repressed me from, like, eating cheese for a week. Then now I'm just going to eat all the cheese in the world. So I feel like that just doesn't work. Like that's the way my parents tried to raise me. That's the way my parents tried to like get me to do things and it would just get the opposite result. So it was like, okay, how would I have raised myself as a child that would have helped me? And how can I kind of apply that into like the binge eating thing? And I was like, I'm just gonna be allowing. I'm just gonna allow myself to do whatever. And I'm just also, this is another important thing, is that I'm not gonna guilt myself. Because the big thing was also that I was guilting myself so much every time that I binged, binged ate. Um, which basically is that I binged ate and then I was like, oh my god, you're such a disaster, you did it again, you failed again, da da da. And then at some point when I start, I realized like, well, there's a lot of shame and guilt here that you're putting on yourself. Maybe there's also like, that's kind of the reason why you're like doing that. Maybe like a part of you just wants to be guilt and shame because that's what your parents did to you growing up. Um, and you just need to kind of like take those like those red judgments from you away you know and don't do that because maybe you're binge eating to get yourself to judge you you know what i mean um kind of like to punish yourself like it's a way like the binge eating might not be the problem but maybe the shame and the guilt that you put on yourself after that is the problem that's what you kind of are addicted to so i also took that away from the equation like the next time that i binge ate i was like ada it's completely understandable that you're binge eating like you've been through so much stress this week you've been through this and I was understanding towards me instead of like guilt or 
shame tripping myself I was just I decided to be understanding I decided to it's kind of like changing the relationship that I had with myself as like my mom had with me to like a new type of relationship you know maybe like a new type of parenting towards myself I don't know how to call it but I just stopped guilt tripping me I just stopped doing that I was just like hey it's fine and I was like over understanding and I feel like I needed to be over understanding with myself for a while to kind of like make up for like all the non-understanding that I got all my life and that I also put on myself for like a long time and the funny thing is that the moment I started to do that I stopped binge eating as much because I feel like the part of me that was looking for someone to shame her was gone like I was not getting that reward like that toxic reward anymore so since I was not really getting that toxic reward anymore my body was just like well what's the point of binge eating like I'm not getting what I want you know and I think I thought back then that the binge eating was gonna go away and it hasn't to this day it hasn't really gone away but I still allow it and it still happens but like in very small doses and as you can see right now I look good now I don't have a problem with my weight I don't have a problem with how I look sorry um but it's come to this point where it's like it is a part of me because like it's been happening for like 25 years and i'm like now 29 so i know it's not gonna go away tomorrow and it might not go away for like the next 10 years because i'm like it still happens like every f once in a while it doesn't happen as often because usually sometimes i just have like that um that urge to just like go to the store and like buy chips and do this and this and that and then I got I get home I eat like half a bag and I'm like oh my god I'm so full like I cannot eat anymore you know because I feel like I've solved a lot of things it's just like that kind of like memory is still there and I'm, I'm still gonna probably do it for a few more years until like it fully goes away but I feel like that's what really helped me is like take away the shame and the guilt that you're putting on yourself every time. Just like try to be as understanding as possible. And I know most of you are going to be like, well, but if I'm understanding, it's like I'm not putting discipline on me. And it's like, has discipline ever served you? Because honestly, it has never helped me. Discipline has never helped me with anything. I mean, discipline in other areas and in healthy ways, yes, but not like this, not like restricting yourself, not doing any of this. So I was like... What I basically did is that for like a full month, I was like, for a full month, just as an experiment, I'm going to try to um, be super loving to myself, be super understanding, just put like excuses for everything that I do. Like you, you, all of, all of you have probably at some point have like had a boyfriend or girlfriend that you put excuses for them. Like, oh, he's doing this because he's like hurt or he's doing this, that. And it was probably toxic. Like, why don't you do that for yourself for a month and see how that works out for you? Because I realized that... I started doing that for myself and for a full month I was just like well I'm eating this much because I'm stressed because I had a bad day because this because that and it's completely okay and it's okay and I told myself everything was okay I literally after one month of doing that like I realized like my binge eating was going less and less but I just continued to do that and I lost weight the funny thing is that even though I still binged and I still ate a lot of more food that I was actually like hungry for I lost a lot of weight and like my inflammation also got down because it was not just that I was fatter it was also that I was inflamed and my body just looked bigger because it was inflamed and I feel like somehow I just put like a lot of that pressure and stress out of me by just like calming down and being understanding and being loving to myself so basically that's what I did and that's how I cured well cured I want to say cured but I haven't really cured it yet because as I said like I had this one time this week where like I was on my period my sister was on her period and we ordered pizza and we ate I ate a bag of chips that I was not hungry for but I was like it's fine and this happens like now every I don't know once every two weeks or once every two months depending on the time and it's like, I just try to be understanding with myself, like, well, maybe you're on your period and that's why you're feeling like this. Or maybe, like, this person did something and you need to kind of, like, treat yourself a little bit. Um, so, yeah, that's how I kind of, like, de dealt with it or healed it or whatever you want to call it. So, I hope this video was helpful. And if it was, give me a like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want on, like, next videos. And I'll see you guys next week.